What's going on guys, Glimps here, back again on another MLB The Show 20 Diamond Dynasty video. It is Friday and we have a monsoon update, a lot of stuff. We have multiple free diamonds coming in the game and just a bunch of content that I want to get to. I have not seen it yet, so I'm going to be very excited as are you. But before we hop into this one, make sure to leave a like down below if you guys do enjoy these videos. I always try to get the updates out for you pretty much as soon as I can ASAP. And and, uh, subscribe if you guys have not yet we hit 32,000 or are going to hit it today so thank you guys for that uh, so if you guys want to place for tips gameplays really a big gameplay later make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and let's get into it so the first thing that I know it's going to happen is uh, we have new POTM content so Let's go ahead and take a look at that right now. Of course, we had the 85 Zimmerman, and now we're going to have an 86 Patrick Corbin once again. Uh, all the, of these cards are going to be able to obtain absolutely free. You don't have to, uh, you know, pay anything. There's moments and other missions that you can do, which we'll take a look at. Uh, but Patrick Corbin, he's gonna be a lefty, of course, throwing a slider, two seam, four seam curveball, and a changeup. Not gonna throw particularly hard, I wouldn't say 93, 94, but a good differential on that curveball at 73 miles per hour the changeup is only 10 differential compared to the four seam uh hits per nine at 76 84 k9 77 walk nine not too crazy about this card i don't exactly think you'll make my rotation but it is a free card and hopefully this will start to be a trend and give more lefty starters for people to use. So it's not just righties that you face online because I think that's kind of an issue right now. And uh, yep, that is going to be available at 50 points for the monthly awards. Uh, so as soon as you finish the first stage, if you guys have not yet, um, basically how this works, you have to get 25 of 25 on stage one with these given moments and missions, and then you move on to stage two. You cannot earn any more than 20 25 points from stage one once you get onto stage two it's only these select moments and missions to continue progressing throughout there and uh quick look at the moments that we're going to see and then we'll keep it moving uh pitch five inning strike out eight batters on all-star difficulty against uh the rockies that could be a little bit hard pitching ones are never exactly my favorite i'm never really having a smile on my face just real giddy in order to play them strike out 12 batters on veteran uh pitch nine innings strike out eight batters that's going to be annoying because you cannot give up one run and uh pitch six innings strike out 11 batters give up no more than three runs and then the missions exchange diamondbacks and starting pitchers so uh you guys might have an opportunity to make stubs and then play them on all-star the diamondbacks and then there's a couple online missions as well if you do the moments this is going to give you uh 12 15 all you would need is either the exchange or you can do the all-star against the diamondbacks and then tally three extra base hits with ryan zimmerman uh, which i'd recommend just do these two unless you have some extra cards laying around and then you can do the exchange so that is what is new within there let's take a look at the new uh another new second inning program player this is going to be absolutely free once again we have an 85 overall bob gibson uh, a lot of pitchers come Coming today if you guys have not noticed the trend and uh he is going to be a righty, of course, throwing gas, 96, 97 miles per hour. Pretty good for a free card. Four seam, slider, curveball, changeup. Nothing crazy on the differential. Only 10 mile or 11 miles per hour on the four seam to change up. Uh, pretty good per nine, slow. 88 hit nine, 86 K9, 50 walks per nine. Uh, once again, these are not going to be top of the line pitchers, but if you guys are a no money spent team, if you're just getting started, these can definitely be back end guys for you. You, and they can also help you in collections which probably we're gonna have something like a Honus Wagner collection at some point later on this year so I really recommend that you do these and it's gonna give you 20 program points as well so if you guys don't know the drill with these all you have to do is all the moments for Bob Gibson and then play them on all-star difficulty that the moments are gonna give you 42 and then the all-star is gonna give you eight getting to 50 program points and completing that and uh, once you get that Bob Gibson card just go over to collection second inning program 
program, collect him, and you're going to get 20 program stars. Pretty nice in my opinion, so make sure and do those two brand new free diamond starting pitchers within the game. Really like that they're doing this, it seems like at least once or twice a week. They're adding in free cards, which is always a good thing, especially once um, those cards can help you get even better stuff in the future. Now, uh, we also do have a new headliner. It is going to be Christy Mathewson, 95 overall. Okay, you have me excited. Um, we have all pitchers, all starting pitchers, Christy Mathewson. So, he's going to throw a lot of junk. A screwball, a four seam, a 12 six, and a two seam. That's not particularly my cup of tea. I would like to see a changeup or something in there. Uh, the screwball is nice. I remember his signature card last year. I wasn't a huge fan of it. Uh, he's going to throw 94, 95 miles per hour. I'm not too sure, but his, his per nines are great. 120 stamina, 90 hit 9, 85 K9, 93 walk 9, 118 pitch clutch. The problem with this card is the, uh, the screwball and the 12-6 last year felt pretty similar. They're basically the same miles per hour, only a three mile an hour differential. The two seam is only 92 mile an hour. He just doesn't throw that much gas. If he threw like 98 on his four seam and then a 75 curveball, that's pretty good. I just don't know how good this card is gonna be uh, because I didn't like him last year. I'll probably be giving this card a shot. I don't know. Uh, but let me know what you guys think about these three brand new pitchers. He is going to be in the headliner pack set 11. Um, so you guys are going to have probably like three, four days to open these. I don't recommend it. I might open a couple though. We'll see what happens. Uh, taking a look at the schedule before anything else. Did we get an update on this? Uh, it appears like we did not. Um, so uh, what we're looking to, uh, what we're looking forward to on Tuesday, we're gonna have a new event, build a squad with prospect players for new rewards. Um, so I think we might see that Dustin May that they showed pre-launch and that Ian Anderson. And then uh, we also should have a brand new headliner coming in on Tuesday as well. Uh, I'm really looking forward to them updating this because hopefully we're gonna see Team Affinity Stage 2 on there at some point because uh, it's been kind of long. I really hope they're going to put that in at some point. I'm gonna open, uh, I guess we'll do three headliners in a 10 pack bundle. Uh, I've finally been saving up my stubs and it really disheartens me to open packs, but I will do it for the content, I guess. Um, something I do want to pose a question to you guys. I did make a video yesterday talking about five things I love about MLB The Show 20 so far and five things that I do not particularly like. And I would really enjoy it if you guys would, first of all, check out that video if you guys have not yet. Uh, but even on this video, let me know what things that really uh, pickle your pepper in this game. What things really uh, are not good in your opinion that need to be fixed. I think there's a good majority of things that have been improved compared to MLB The Show 19, but there's still certain things plaguing this game that I really hope can get fixed at some point. Uh, about content, I really like content so far this year. I do want to mention May 1st, it is going to be uh, the third inning program, so that's not that long. It's going to be two weeks from today, and then my, my mind would think that hopefully next Friday we get stage two team affinity. I would find it hard to believe and really hope that it's not released after the third inning program because they did tell us uh, pre-launch that this was going to be kind of uh, something that we're going to see in the game. Oh baby, hold that thought. Oh man, we pulled Christy Mathewson. <laughs> I bet you we did. How much do you guys want to bet? Yeah, we pulled Christy Mathewson. Let's go baby. Let's go! We have finally done it! Hell has frozen over! Oh my god! Uh, I'm not trying this card out, by the way. I'm selling that with the quickness, ASAP Rocky style. Wow, we finally pulled something of value. We made stubs off this pack opening. That is not something I ever thought I would be uttering out of my mouth to you guys. Whoo! I am having an adrenaline rush throwback to when I was 12 and fat and drank Mountain Dew every single night. We finally pulled a diamond out of the headliners. I'm not going to complain about those last couple silvers. That's go. That is what I'm talking about. So that's nice. That is the first headliner diamond I have pulled all year. Uh, hopefully that can sell relatively quickly. Talking a bit more about this card though, I don't think he's going to be worth it at about a 60k price tag. 
in my opinion that's just a little bit much a uh, little bit much it does appear like miggy's price is going to start to go down uh so i think right now would be a good time to sell him if you guys do still have him and uh yeah i don't think that this christy matthewson is going to be the best card if you guys are going to try him out please let me know down below in the comment section uh let me know what you guys think about all of these new cards do they update the schedule right here uh yeah they did uh team affinity stage two hell yeah baby that is gonna be coming out on friday alongside new monthly awards and we're gonna have another free legend catcher on tuesday huge news guys really great stuff team affinity stage 2 30 new diamonds coming into the game i did a prediction video it'll be up the top right hand corner check that out if you guys have not yet and uh i think that's gonna wrap up this video really positive positive vibes all the way around we pulled up headliner we got team affinity stage 2 and a bunch of new free content if you guys did enjoy this video make sure to leave a like down below thank you all for watching hope you guys have a great day there goes some